and um, it can get a little squirrely in there. You know, um, it, it's it's tough. It's just you and the story, and you're trying to bring that out. But there's a moment that can happen to you in that. It's the moment you live for in that part of the experience, and that is where something happens in the room that you didn't anticipate, where you start to write something that you hadn't planned, that you hadn't thought about, that you that, that was not even a, an inkling, not even a thought. Suddenly a character is talking to you in a way that is startling, or a new character appears, or a scene evolves. And I have to tell you, the, the astonishment of that, the sheer pleasure of the astonishment of that is so pleasurable, so deeply pleasurable. That's number one. So you spend this time and you, and, and you, and you create this world. They people this world. And then the second phase happens, and that's where your world is suddenly invaded <laughs> by all these other artists, all these <laughs> other extraordinary, in the case of the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, all these extraordinary artists, all these artists operating at the very peak of their capabilities, talented people, demanding people, and they have questions. They have so many questions. <laughs> I mean, imagine for, imagine for a moment, you're sitting in a chair in the middle of this room, and everybody in the room is whispering to you. Everybody's saying, what about this? I don't understand that. Can you explain this? I don't get it. Or maybe it should be this, or maybe it should be that. That's what that process is. This is the collaborative part of the process, and oh my, is it, is it challenging and invigorating? Because you are forced, you are forced to to explain yourself. You're forced to understand what has been intuitive in many ways. And you are learning at the same time because people are coming to you and saying, well, there's this. Did you know about this? And I'm seeing this. And a designer comes in and says, well, you know, I think the set, you've described it this way, but I think if we do this and suddenly the play is opening up to you, again, it's that moment of astonishment. It's that, it's that blissful moment of astonishment. The play is opening up to you in ways and you thought, well, I knew this. I created this. How can this surprise me? But it is. It is surprising you. And oh my God, is that such a pleasure. And tough. Tough. To hard work. Hard work. Hard work. But that's the second part. And then there is the third moment. And that third moment, some of you have already participated in, some of you will tomorrow night, where you move it into the theater and you move all the elements into it. And, and you stand in the back of the theater as the audience fills in. All these strangers, people you don't know, they have come to see this thing. They've come to hear this story be told, all right? And they come and they sit and the lights go down and you stand in the back and you watch this enormous machine because believe me, it is an enormous machine. You only see the tip of the iceberg as the audience, but there are the actors on stage, of course, but there are the designers and the work that they've done and the house management and the running crew backstage and the people who are running the lights and the people who are running the sound and the people who are running the computer. And all of that is happening and the lights come down and the audience can feel the audience get quiet and they lean forward and the story begins. The story begins, and there's this moment where that thing, that thing, that was just this idea in your mind, in your room, in your empty room, is now suddenly being shared with all these people, and it is astonishing. It is a moment of astonishing, because again, it's revelatory, because the audience is experiencing things and expressing things to you about your story that you didn't know were there, that you didn't realize were there, because of course they have brought in their own stories. And your story is now touching their story in ways that they hadn't expected. And suddenly this group of strangers is, for just this one moment, not so much a group of strangers. We are a community sharing a common story. I would have said those are the three best moments mm. in a writer's life. But you've made a liar out of me tonight, please. <laughs> because there's a fourth moment, and that's where you're in a room like this with people who have been with you along the way, comrades, in this long slog fest of a war that is also the most joyous experience you can possibly imagine. And here we all are tonight, and we're opening a show on Broadway tomorrow, and God bless you all, and thank you. <laughs>